Quick Access Toolbar, or QAT, is a useful tool as it allows you to customize any shortcuts you want and is located here in the top left hand corner of your screen. Once you set it up, it allows you to access your favorite functions easily and conveniently. When you first install Outlook, there are only a few icons that appear in the QAT. However, you can customize the QAT to include commands that you frequently use, such as print email, save attachment, and many more. When you press the Alt button, the shortcut assigned to the icon in the QAT appears. In this example, the icon for my global address book is the fourth icon in the QAT, so the shortcut I have created to open the global address book is Alt 4. There is a down arrow on the right hand side of the QAT. If you click this, a drop down menu will appear. The ticked icons are already in the QAT. I can select more icons to add to the QAT by scrolling to more commands, selecting the icon from the left hand side that I'd like to add to the QAT, and click Add. I can also change where that particular icon appears in the QAT by selecting it and using the arrows on the right hand side. Once I'm happy, I can click OK and you can see that automatic replies have been added to my QAT. The shortcut is Alt 1. Another way to get to the Customize QAT dialog box is to right click anywhere on the QAT and select Customize Quick Access Toolbar. All Outlook functions are classified under the tab in the ribbon in which they appear. Or you can select All Commands for a comprehensive list. You can remove an icon from the QAT by selecting it from the right hand side and clicking Remove. Or you can right click the icon directly in the QAT and select Remove from Quick Access Toolbar. Finally, while the default position of the QAT is above the ribbon, you can choose to show the Quick Access Toolbar below the ribbon. Right click and select Show Quick Access Toolbar below the ribbon. To return the QAT to above the ribbon, again right click and select Show Quick Access Toolbar above the ribbon.